Oh, that's right, I went back to Ninpeg, didn't just beat it. I went on the second loop with extra enemies, extra difficulty, beat that too, got my beautiful cherry. Such a fun little game, it's so bizarre how addicted I got to that. Also beat Seaside Drive, but it requires, I believe, a run without getting hit once to be able to get that cherry, so I probably won't go for it. Let's try Quibble Race, traveling to the future, 1989. It is a one to three player strategy, that's weird. In the seedy world of Quibble Racing, sometimes it takes shady tactics to get ahead. The game's quibbles belong to an original sci-fi universe developed for a board game many years ago. It's probably some kind of inside reference, I have no way of knowing. Play Quibble Race, I am ready. I'm pretty sure this is not racing, but it's actually Quibble Supremacy. And you're supposed to murder every just full genocide on anything that's not a quibble. Alright, let's do some quibble, quibble racing. I am ready to discover what the quibbles are all about. Is this choosing your faction? I don't know. Zilf, Alpha, Nemo, Mr. Ki what the fuck? <laughs> it's like, it's a choose your character, I suppose. I am the Alpha, so we're, let's go with the Alpha. I don't know if it's... Oh, player one. Okay, okay, I get it. I, I see. So you choose who you are, then you choose your opponents. Pilot, you will be my opponent because I have had a hate boner for you for the longest time. I absolutely despise you. And then we're going to also beat into the dust this absolute imbecile. Sure, we'll go for six rounds. Generating history. What, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> some, some serious eldritch abomination. We're gonna. It's going to take a, a few brain cells to figure this one out. Let's start betting ten dollars. Then hit this brain. What the? Alpha's turn. It is my turn. Okay. Tip: If a quibble you sponsor wins a race, you will earn a cash bonus. So I see. It's a uh, horse racing with quibbles. Want to buy info on a specific razor? What the? Hey, what do you want, Mac? We want uh, you. Can I guess? Give tools to your quibbles for cash, and then you can get a loan. I like that the icon is a shark's fin. Very, very uh, anti-predatory lending. Their message, Mr. Derek Ewan Company. I am selecting my quibble. <laughs> I'm buying myself a quibble. Holy crap. So I, I think I get the purpose. You bet on your quibble, and the goal is to beat your opponents at the betting game. Let's just not touch anything. I'm just going to hit done, done and see what this looks like. But I'm excited for the big race to begin. I see. My quibble is Black Eye. Uh, these absolute scumbags. I have no control whatsoever, right? I, I am hitting buttons. Nothing, absolutely nothing happens. You better get up right now, Black Eye! I get wrecked. Turns out I didn't need to do a damn thing. I am the winner anyway because uh, I, you know, I just went backstage, threatened Black Eye's family, made sure he felt the pressure. To perform? This is just... This is just inane. Let's see. <laughs> I'm supposed to... I'm going to bet a hundred dollars, okay? Actually, no. We're going to bet one hundred dollars. So... Ah, you select who you want to sponsor. So, uh, you're not... Stuck with the one horse. You're basically a... An illicit gambler. <laughs> Wow, amazing. Uh, this game promotes degeneracy. So I guess then if you want a better payout of 8 to 1, you need to make sure to invest on horrible disasters to happen to your opponents. How about we just bet on the guy that has a perfect record of 3 and 3, and then we also... 
a Windwrecker is more reliable if there's more total races. Yeah, yeah, I, I get that. I get. Okay, you're just telling me it's preordained for Wildcard to to win, isn't it? Uh, let's see. We're going to boost Wildcard. There you go. That's uh, that, that's all that we're going to do, and that will give us basically a fifty dollar return. What was this about? It's like buying a new contestant? I'm, I'm going to do it. An excellent choice. I mean... I don't, I don't get what I just did. Oh, what is this now? Black eyes in our stables, alright. Want me to train... Uh, we can train him, I see, I see. Oh weird, oh weird. Yeah, yeah, train, train black eye. This little quibble needs to get some steps in. He needs to lose some of that belly fat, get ready to perform. All right, wild card, you got the juice, you got all the steroids in the world. Alpha card, giving boosters to wild card. We have been caught, we have been caught. The FCC has been contacted. We're, I don't think the FCC is the organization, but they got involved somehow. We've been busted. Wildcard is known to be on the juice. The press tour is just an absolute disaster. He is going to be, get wrecked by all that yellow journalism. Why? Why do you trip, you absolute buffoon? Well, <laughs> it turns out we win by opponent death. Quibbles turn out that they have very fragile vertebra and they are liable to break their necks in the end. Absolutely nothing to do with the goons I hired to beat him up a little before the race. So we got fined and I spent 50 on boosters, therefore I won zero money. I see, <laughs> I see how it goes. This is a disastrous pile of people, okay? How about I short Screamer? How about I just say I am going to bet on this guy losing? Can I do that? I don't think I can. Go back to the, the trainer. I mean, he got trained. I don't see any results. He just has a very nice speed. That's about it. This game is too deep for me to create a, a solid strategy. It is just too strange. Hey there, I've got a free tip for you. Some quibbles are clumsier and are more likely to fall down. I see, they are just wobbling imbeciles. So anyway, if we get... Probably there's just a random chance of getting caught doing one of these illicit maneuvers. Mm. Well, I mean, G Fury, he has a very uh, spotty record, but the others are absolute trash. How about we just bet 10? Oh, but there's six rounds, so you can't just be conservative and count on it working out. How about this? We're going to bet big money. We're going to bet a hundred on Screamer, the absolute trash garbage, most awful of all of these quibbles. But we're going to, you know, create a few impediments, a few impediments for our, our opponent. Uh, we're going to slip a roofie in Wiggins' drink, and we're oh, there's only one. I thought that you got infinite, infinite. <laughs> <laughs> options to do that. Uh, how? Where's the option to break G Fury's legs? I really would like to see one of those. Get back. I am trying to see, like, you train him, but then how do you use him? Is it just a matter of finding him in the in the roster? It's weird. Anyway, Screamer has no chance against G Fury. We gotta do something here. This is how you're just buying people, all right, all right. This is just tips. I need to, uh, I'm just clicking on buttons because I'm just trying to figure out what everything does. Um, yeah, this bet is just a, a losing bet. Unless G Fury had a complete, an utter meltdown and he's just not in the race. He's basically just going in there with uh, hoping for the best. Let me just... Let me just bet 60. This is not going to work out. 
Wiggins looks confused this morning. Official software space sickness is a possible explanation. I don't know what this is about. I have no cool idea what happens to this quibble. Oh, G Fury is limping this morning. I, I completely missed the, 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 the earlier message. But you say it was from a training injury. Fans excited for the big race to begin. Hopefully they didn't say anything about screamers less than ethical. Well, immediately Screamer has tripped like an idiot, but it's okay because now G Fury is going to get wrecked. Never mind, Screamer just drops face first, but he still makes it there because everything comes up. Comes up, Millhouse, baby. Screamer wins. My horse is always at the front. Except freaking Bren is absolutely destroying me in the bets here. This is just awful. That was a 8 to 1 bet. We should have made giant bank on that. I think the most important lesson to learn here is that playing dirty always pays. Shadow? I mean, Rudolph is going to get absolutely destroyed by Prickles. I just, I just have this feeling, man, that Prickles is the, the real deal. He's unproven. He's a total rookie. He's gonna make it, though. I'm going to make sure he makes it as I uh, take a baseball bat to Shadow's knees. There you go. We don't worry about Rudolph. So we're just going to bait the bank on Prickles, the unproven rookie, being an absolute incredible chat ace. Okay, buddy, let's train Black Eye a little bit more. Oh, yeah, look at him. Look at him being incredibly fast. Wow. I don't know what the purpose of that is because it's like I cannot get them out of my stables. It's like you just are supposed to uh, uh, come across them, I suppose. And I guess we'll uh, do the thing. Wiggins, Gunther. These people are ass. Let's just uh, do the. I'm, I have put all my faith on Prickles, the unproven rookie. Shadow is limping this morning. <laughs> Up <in> there. <laughs> Prickles was confused this morning. Official suffer space sickness. Uh, he got slipped the pills. Prickles looks hard, larger today. <laughs> New diet is the most likely cause. So he is fat and stupid. It's, I just put my life savings on a fat and stupid wiggle. Oh, it's okay though. He's still gonna make it. Look at him being incredibly focused on the race. Even what? Why? Why? <laughs> the fat and stupid Quiggle has absolutely beaten everybody else. They are garbage. Freaking Bren though. She always makes the savvy gambling moves. It is truly uncanny. Almost suspicious. How this absolute bitch keeps beating me at the batting. Anyway, uh, apparently Runty... Ah, I see. So it's like the people that we buy, we become sponsors. And what does that mean? Maybe because they get like better protection or something? Is that how it goes? It has, okay, fine. We'll buy Gunther. We'll go into the stables. And we're going to invest. We're going to invest in these idiots. They better good. Better good better. Gunther is very clumsy, unfortunately. <laughs> that is the horse that we bought, and now we have to make it work. All right, bud. So clearly, it's, a, it's both sponsored by Pilot. I want to screw over Bren, is the thing. wonder what it means to be sponsored. Mm. Anyway, Wiggins is absolute trash garbage. Runty and Wildcard, they play for the enemy, though. I guess we'll just bet on Runty. We'll bet on Runty. Wiggins is, has no chance of winning. And Wildcard, well, he's just gonna have a bit of an accident. A little bit of an accident. There you go. There you go. Oops. Oops. Turns out I put deadly daffodil extract into your food. And we are at round six. We gotta bet big to make it big. Otherwise, this is just not gonna happen. Wiggins is limping this morning. I, I'll be honest, I'll remember who I bet on. Uh, official says blah, blah, blah. Wildcard looks confused this morning. Meteor showers and coming. 
<laughs> racetrack stays open against government recommendation. All right, well, I look forward to Runty's incredible, incredible performance. Wiggins got his forehead clawed by freaking meteors. <laughs> it's all right, because Runty's going to be the one to survive. Wiggins is going to die a horrible death to meteor showers. But Runty, he's just going to trip over and over again, but slow and steady is going to make the race. Slow and unsteady. Just, that's right, trip over my butthole. You absolute idiot. You can do it, Runty. Oh, give me all that cash. Look at Wiggins. Wiggins put barely any cash. Uh, I mean, the whoever the hell side of the head shaved lady is. Once again, my, my bet is the absolute bet. Oh, I see. If you sponsor somebody, you just get the money. You get money if, if the person wins, even if you didn't bet on the one. Last round, you gotta go big or go home. We got Black Eye, Cheetah, and Gunther. We're... Oh, Gunther! <laughs> Not the most stellar record. We're going all in on Gunther. This is the last round. This is going to be the biggest, absolute biggest attempt we're going all in. Actually, now that I think about it, it's like, what if side of the head shaved loses, right? I still have a chance of winning. But <laughs> what's the fun in that? All right, all right. So we need to make sure that Cheetah becomes sloth and gets absolutely destroyed. Actually, Black Eye is also mine. It, I, I am guaranteed to win. I am guaranteed to win. Baby, bet on Cheetah. I just now realized you bet on Cheetah a hundred dollars. No, you want to bet 150, 150. It's gonna work out. If my guys win, I get a hundred no matter what. If Cheetah wins, I get some cash. So what you want, maybe put it like a 400. The thing is, you have no idea how much how much the other uh, players are betting. Gunther, you have no chance whatsoever. Black Eye is the actual favored, right? I think this is a, an okay investment. What do you have to say? Some quibbles are clumsier and li more likely to... Wow, what, a, what an amazing information. I would like to know more info. What does this mean? Research Cheetah. What's, what's second fastest quibble in the current race? Very clumsy. Hmm. We could go all in on our trained horse. You know what? You know what? We're gonna all in on our trained horse. And we're going to help him out. Instead of playing the game, we're going to have faith in the training that we have done. And a little bit of added faith. Using our, our clubs to break Cheetah's legs. We're going only on Black Eye. Black Eye is going to be the most incredible quibble ever seen by man. I could make like a wise investment. No, I, I have faith in Black Eye being incredible. It's going to be amazing. And you know, if Gunther makes it by some freak freakish development, can I actually train him? Sure. No, we don't need to train him anymore. He's already the fastest. All right, you absolute morons. Cheetah is limping this morning. There was a, a few dirty tricks played, and I am pretty glad about it. Officials say a new diet is the Gunther. We don't care about Gunther. Every every bet is on Black Eye. What an absolute winner. We have trained an absolute ace. Look at this. Race to the end. He is unstoppable. What a massive, incredible winner. Black Eye wins because we train him to do it with incredible abuse, berating, starving to death. Players go home to count their cash. Look at me. Look at me. I was the, the final better. Yeah, yeah. No. Freaking Bren. Oh, I was about to say like, no, she bet just right. No, but I am the greatest. Look at me. Oh, <laughs> pilot. Not the wisest investor of all time. Pilot got 
massively in debt. No wonder he then later goes on to have a, a life of of banditry and outlawness in the Campanella. He just goes off into space, time to flee from all his loan sharks. Brand got beaten into the dust by the absolute alpha. That's me, this guy with two thumbs pointing at himself. What a bizarre video game. I am just flabbergasted by the existence. Please, I would like to skip credits. I can't skip the credits. We're just looking at the quibbles. <laughs> running forward. All right, so obviously, this game kind of sucks. <laughs> I'm sure it's the cup of tea for a lot of people out there. So, but it's like just kind of boring. It's just kind of boring. Uh, don't know if there's any hidden depths to it that I'm not aware of. I am sure there's like a really good strategy to follow. Maybe there's uh, intricacies that in 20 minutes I have not seen. Not going to care about Quibble Race going forward. Looking only a few hundred Quibbles were harmed in the making of this game. Excellent, excellent. Should have been a couple million. But anyway, we win the Quibble Race. Feels like maybe a multiplayer experience would be way more fun trying to destroy your opponent's betting. Definitely Quibble Race. Not my cup of tea. It's, it's just kind of boring. That's, that's really the... Like, it's a funny gaffe, and then I don't want to ever think about it again. <laughs> again. So let's just not reset the game, but back to the library. What comes next? Well, we actually beat it, though, because we are the greatest. Next, we're going to travel back in time to paint Chase. I look forward to chasing painters and trying to collect payment.